Midwest Classic Golf is a Sutton Sports production. Tee it up for the cup. Life is hard when you're in the rough. Now tee it up with Midwest Classic Golf. You drive for show and you put for no. And you play your fade and you let it roll. Straight up on the green and in the car. Just tee it up. Midwest Classic Golf is brought to you by FootJoy. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. And Cutter Buck, the leader in men's and women's golf apparel. Tee it up for the cup. Life is hard when you're in the rough. Now tee it up with Midwest Classic Golf. Let's tee it up. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Midwest Classic Golf. Yeah, it's the show that tells you the point of destination golfer, where to play, where to stay, and where to have fun. I'm your host, Tom Sutton, and you know what? I have got the best tip for you when you're about to make your reservation to go play golf. You want to know what it is? Here it is. Number one, find a great golf course, one that you know you're going to enjoy playing. Two, Make sure they have fantastic rooms and great deals for your weekend or week-long stay. Three, make sure there's some other fun things to do for the family while you're there, besides great golf. Number four, great dining is a plus. And five, this is the big one, this is the one you've been waiting for, make sure there is a casino attached to the property. Not only do we have our slots, but we have table games, and that includes craps and um, let it ride. We also have a poker room um, that we just opened last July. So um, really, we, we have everything for the gamer. You know what? I've been at this gig for about 10 years, and I can tell you that if you're going to get a deal, there's no better place to go than when a casino has or owns a golf course. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. They want you there to stay at the resort, and they know if you stay at the resort, there's a really good chance that you're going to do some gambling. So to get you up there, that enticement, they're going to give you a golf course. Rates, unbelievable. You're not going to find them anyplace else. So the deal is real simple. Go to the casino, stay at the resort at the casino, play the casino golf course. You will not get a better package. Hey, they're gambling too. They're thinking you're going to come over and do a little gambling. They'll make their money back. But you know what? You get a 50-50 chance of making money. It sounds like a win-win to me. We love our golfers here and our golf package. It's new this year and it has been phenomenal to say the least. And with all of that that I just explained, I tell you that I come to you today from Pine Hills Golf Course and North Star Casino and Resort. That is the perfect combo for my destination golfers. I've told you about the gambling and I'm gonna show you more about the resort in a second, but let's take a look at this great golf course. Pine Hills is located just west of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, <laughs> home of the Super Bowl champion Packers. I just kinda of thought I'd throw that in for my viewers down in Chicago and Minneapolis, St. Paul. <clears throat> but uh, speaking of super, that's one word that would describe the Pine Hills track. It is cut through Wisconsin's North Woods. Mother Nature had a fun time with this one. Sharp dog legs, elevation changes, perfect. Wildlife and just fun playability all add up to a great experience. Well, basically from the moment that they get out of their car, they're they're straight into the wilderness. They've got um, tree-lined fairways. Every hole is back to nature. Don't go away. Much more coming up on this edition of Midwest Classic Golf as I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of this wonderful facility. There's all kinds of fun things to see and do when you come up here. Rafting, hiking, biking. You get the idea. Oh, by the way, are you a Packer fan? You can take a little time out and head over to visit the Packer Hall of Fame. It's just about a half an hour away. You can do that even if you are a <clears throat> Bears or Vikings fan. Yeah, come on. You know you want to go. Then I'm going to tee it up on my classic golf hole challenge. Are we talking birdie, par, bogey? Okay, maybe worse. Come on back and I'm going to show you. And I'm going to take you across the pond and we're going to talk about the home the birthplace of golf. That would be St. Andrews. There is a connection right here. That's all next on Midwest Classic Golf. 
Welcome back once again. You are watching Midwest Classic Golf. I am your host, Tom Sutton. As I said in the beginning of the show, I tell you the point of destination golfer where to play, ta -da, where to stay, and where to have a lot of fun. You could be watching Des Moines, you could be watching in Kansas City, Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Milwaukee. It doesn't make any difference. You know that sometimes during the course of the summer, you're going to want to get away and really have a great, great time. Well, here it is. I come to you from the Mohican North Star Casino and Resort, which happens to be the proud owner of uh -uh, this baby right behind me, Pine Hills Golf Course. Now the course is owned by the Stockbridge Muncie Band of the Mohican Nation, and they, along with General Manager Lloyd Young, continue to upgrade the property every year. You are looking at their new practice facility that was ushered in by PGA Touring Pro Native American Nota Begay. Begay taking time to talk to the crowd of young players who were on hand. Well, I think it's an important message that as we move forward and have success in our respective fields that we're able to come back and, and do things like this for, for the youth and for the Native American communities because it's, it's up to us to make our community stronger. As we head out on the course itself, you're looking at a great combination of placement golf and just enough grip it and rip it to get the old adrenaline running. Now the par fives are not all that long, although they are guarded by the north woods on either side. Make sure you hit them straight. Now you can go for these in two, but there's a lot of risk with the reward. Pine Hills has even more defenses. The greens are relatively small, but you need to be aggressive with your putting. Don't leave them short. Now here's a word of caution. Uh, try not to get overly confident if you post a good score, especially on the front nine. On the back side, well, that's where it really turns up the heat. You're going to be heading into the tall lumber, and your playing partner could be a black bear if you hit it into the woods. When you're here at Pine Hills, you're going to feel as if you are a part of nature. No homes, no noise, no other golfers, except for the other three people in your foursome. Uh, just beautifully manicured fairways and greens. This is truly a mystic experience. And there's no housing development on the course, so every hole is pristine as is. This is what I kind of told you about, you know, narrow fairway, back nine, nothing but trees out there. Hit them straight and you can have yourself a great, great time. But this is what you come up to Pine Hills for, a challenge, and you're going to get it. Lloyd Young has done a spectacular job. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a getaway thing because too often when you go into the city areas, there's, there's golf courses on top of each other and they, they, they churn them through. It's like when you drive through a city, it's car after car after car. When you come up here, it's a totally different attitude to golf. You're going out there with your group, with your, your wife or your friends, and you're going out to play golf, have fun, get away. This is back to nature. It really is nice and it's quiet and it's a getaway place to play golf. When you play Pine Hills, don't look for yardage markers out on the course. This is kind of like the old time golf. You're going to see, you know, little wren houses, little bird houses here. The red, of course, is 100 yards out, the white 150, and the blue is 200. This is old time golf, the way it should be. Well, what we've actually noticed is that it's a real good challenge in golf course for the ladies. And if the ladies are off the red tees, or we put them back to the yellow tees, it is a competition type course for them but it still allows them to play their shots and they've got plenty of room, but it's more of a target game for the ladies. The guys, it's a little bit short at 65, 60, 600 if we go back, but the guys, again, it becomes a target game for them. And of course, you've got to keep it straight. I've told you before that you want to make sure that you're on the right side of the pin and you've got to watch yourself because this could turn into an all day putt. You really want to make that birdie so you just give it just a little too much and it goes whoop and then whoop. The whole key is the speed and that gentle break. Now we don't want people coming up here and four putting. We basically want people to come up and enjoy themselves and if they hit a good putt of the hole we don't want them to end up with a 10 foot putt coming back again. What we've done now is we've combined a complete package so they book through us or through the hotel and they get a play and stay package that's suited to them whether it be two golfers, four, eight, 16, or if the wives don't want to play and the husbands want to play, we tailor the package to suit the group. Everybody that golfs here, um, they get coupons to go back to the casino to give them some money to start them off on free play. 
And uh, we also have, because we've got a, a fine dining restaurant up here in a supper club, and in our supper club, everybody at Dines gets the opportunity to go gamble at the casino as well. Like in Northwoods, we specialise in fish fries on the Friday, and the Saturday, traditionally, we have the prime rib buffet. Although our off menu, or our menu choices that we have a la carte, are second to none. Coming up next, I'm gonna show you what's brand new this season over at North Star Casino. They just put the finishing touches on a new resort. So now you get to stay right at the casino, minutes away from the course. You can stay a week, you can stay a weekend. Plus, I'm gonna be challenging my classic golf hole. And how about a trip over to St. Andrews? That's all coming up next, right here on Midwest Classic Golf. People are quite surprised when we have our, our customers come, our clients come from the Milwaukee or Chicago area at what really is offered here. You know, we're like a little gem in the woods and we have four restaurants, we have a coffee shop, we have things that you wouldn't expect. You know, we have a little, our own little Starbucks within our hotel and people wouldn't expect that. You know, we have a culinary artist from a major um, venue that offers um, Asian fusion food that wouldn't be expected. We have all different packages and um, you know we've got some really great people that work with um, accommodating big groups and our um, sales and uh, events manager um, is able to set that up with them whether it be they want hotel rooms, um, if they need meeting space, um, you know we also you know do discounted packages um, you know for large groups so that it would could be anywhere from you know inclusive of golf and free play and um, you know complimentary food and beverage. Every customer walks through the door has a unique experience and walks away happy and wants to return. Because I think once they they get here they will um, they'll definitely want to come back. Welcome back to Pine Hills Golf Course up in Gresham, Wisconsin and it's a great shot. It's worth the trip and it's at a par five. It's gonna get you started, but you don't want to leak it either direction. I got a question for you. Uh, I'm guessing probably by now that you have realized that Lloyd Young is not from Green Bay. Yeah, you got that with that accent, a little strong, is it? He is from Scotland, and of course, that is where golf was invented. St. Andrews is the home of golf, and there's a lot of pride with Lloyd when he talks about his homeland. And the place I came from, actually, at one time, had 12,000 names on golf courses, and we had 20 golf courses within 30 miles. The, when you get to the, some of the top golf courses, like St. Andrews, St. Andrews is a must play. You have to go there because of tradition and everything you see with the Swilkin Bridge and the burn, and it, that's the place you have to visit. There's all sorts of colorful characters in St. Andrews and there's plenty of stories and uh, there's plenty of places you can go and just hear uh, tales of uh, daring do from, from the golf courses and, and all sorts of things. As I said, just about all the walls and uh, the pubs and the hotels, a testament of some of the activities that have been here at the uh, British Open over the years. Jack Nicklaus, you see the famous road hole bunker, Tiger Woods. You know, John Daly, when uh, he uh, won the cup uh, back in 95, you can see wonderful pictures and hear wonderful stories. All you have to do is just stop one of the locals. They'll be more than happy to tell you about the British Open at Old St. Andrews Course. It's really kind of neat. Wow. There's all sorts of things to do, whether you like going around visits or attractions, historical things. Um, there's all sorts of shops and restaurants and uh, lovely bars uh, to, 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 to go around and spend some time in town. If you have the chance, be sure to book a room at the Old Course Hotel, which borders right on the 17th fairway. It's been completely renewed by the Kohler Company, and it's a five-star treat. The Old Course has what is regarded as the most famous hole in golf, and that's the 17th, the road hole. This hotel that we're talking about, the Old Course Hotel, is at, right on the edge of the fairway of the 17th. So when you have the opportunity to participate in an icon, at least I'm the kind of guy who gets a little impulsive <laughs> and jumps. <laughs> St. Andrews is where it all started, but Pine Hills is where it's happening. And coming up next, the classic golf hole challenge. This is it. This is the segment that you've been waiting for. I know you do. In fact, you tape 
the show just so you can watch this segment. It's called the Classic Golf Hole Segment, and yours truly has to play a signature golf course on one of the fabulous 18-hole tracks here in the Midwest. I know you're watching it. I hear your comments. Did I really make that good of a shot? Did I make the birdie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, number 14 at Pine Hills. All right, it's number six handicap. It's a par four, but it is a dog leg that goes 90 degrees at the top. So you just can't take the big stick and cut anything out. Plays 397, don't think so. It's gonna play longer and I'm gonna show you why. It's probably gonna play out about mm, 410, 420 because the first shot, tee shot, all uphill. All right, now you know what I have to do. Let's see what I can. Well, we got it off to the right-hand side. I got kind of a little bit of a lucky bounce. It came out more into the fairway, and if I would have been a tad shorter, I'd have been in trouble. So I've got myself probably about, ooh, 135-ish or so, and into a little bit of a slight breeze. If I leave this short, there's gonna be a trouble to pay because I'm gonna end up probably having a sand trap shot, which I really don't wanna do. Go hard. So this is what you call Wisconsin Northwoods behind me. It's beautiful. Think about what it's like in late September or October. Autumnal colors, perfect. Oh, we got a shot in there. Not too bad. Make sure that we repair our ball mark. Then we're gonna take a look at what we have to go for. Hey, Bertie. All right, cameraman Tim, I want you to do me a big favor. This is really gonna help me out. Just as the club head about ready to go, I want you to yell, don't leave it short, so that I won't leave it short. You ready? I know you can do that. And... Don't leave it short! I didn't leave it short, but thanks for yelling at me. It actually worked. <laughs> Those I can make. That is a par four and a really, really classic hole. That's why we call it the classic hole. By the way, the classic hole is sponsored by Midwest Golf Marketing. That is my friend, John Krieger. Go to MidwestGolfMarketing.com. He has all kinds of places, including Pine Hills, that if you sign up, you can do your own tour, 50, 60, 70% off of these beautiful courses. We're gonna be back with a few closing thoughts right after this. I'll let you kind of pan out. That's television talk for like, move off of me so I can get off the camera. Um, we change the menu uh, every season, so we're actually uh, getting ready to uh, change our uh, longhouse menu, which is our signature restaurant of the property. Um, I definitely like to uh, try a lot of different things. Uh, the style that I like is, is uh, definitely unique, and um, I like to uh, show off a little bit, I guess, as, as being an executive chef. So I like the fresh products and, and like the infused style cooking, so uh, taking a l different Italian styles and kind of uh, uh, putting it together with Asian style. Uh, we're able to take care of a variety of, of birthday parties and, and catered events and, and small packages to go, so. You know, in the sports world, they say that the Kentucky Derby is the fastest two minutes in horse racing. Well, the fastest 28 minutes and 30 seconds of golf show happens to be Midwest Classic Golf because our half hour is just about flown by. Once again, welcome back. I'm Tom Sutton. I have been coming to you over the last half hour from Pine Hills. You've got to come up here to Gresham, Wisconsin and go to the Mohican North Star Casino and then come over here and play golf. I've showed you for the last half hour why, but you know what? You might have missed a little bit, so let's refresh. Pine Hills is a classic Wisconsin Northwoods course. It's guarded by trees through most of the 18 holes, but it will allow you to get a quick start if you're hitting them straight. But the back nine, <laughs> that's where it all begins. The first five holes, there's three opportunities to get your driver tuned in for these holes. But once you start hitting number six, you better be online. The big news this year at Mohica North Star Casino the resort is the resort. It's brand spanking new, and now you can come up and spend the entire weekend golfing and gambling. We do have four different uh, types of rooms. Uh, that would be your standard king, double queen rooms, as well as something called the king corner room, which is a very spacious king room with great views over our, our lovely scenery here. And we also do have suites with a, a kitchenette, sitting room, and uh, very large commodious bathrooms with two showers. 
You gotta make sure you come up for the annual powwow, which is hosted by the Stockbridge Muncie Tribe of the Mohican Nation. There you have it, my point of destination friends. Make sure you come up for the week or the weekend to Mohican North Star Casino and Resort and play Pine Hills. You are going to enjoy it. Ah, the half hour has come and gone, but you know what? We're gonna be back next week and look what we have for you. Keep them in the fairway. Cameraman Tim, heads up. He never catches it.